Are you a problem solver who loves to work with their hands? Aircraft mechanics do critical work to keep planes in the sky. I'm here today at Willow Run Airport to meet with Madison to learn all about her work and how she keeps everything in the air. Thank you, Madison, for meeting with me today. I'm really curious about what it is that you do. So to put it really simply, could you tell me what an aircraft mechanic does? As an aircraft mechanic, I make sure that the pilots are flying safely every single day. And that can include many different pathways, changing tires, changing oils, making sure their instruments are working correctly, things like that. How did you get started on your career and what was your pathway to get here? Well, it kind of all started back in high school. I somehow stumbled into the world of aviation. I decided I wanted to try and do a career path that involved flying, working on airplanes, uh, maybe even space flight. So I decided I wanted to go to college to be an aeronautical engineer. It turned out I liked wrenching on airplanes better and I was better at it. Do you have to be certified to become a mechanic? You do have to be certified. I went to Western Michigan University for a time and they have a program in aviation maintenance. However, when I was there, I was working on restoring World War II aircraft at the Air Museum that's over there, the Air Zoo and they knew of the college that's down the road called MIAT, Michigan Institute of Aviation Technology. You could do the trade school like I did and you could test with a designated examiner or you can sometimes become an apprentice. So how did you find yourself restoring World War II aircrafts? Well, when I was touring the campus over at Western, we saw the signs for the Air Zoo and being obsessed with airplanes as I am, me and my dad actually decided to take a look. I don't know if I'd be where I am today if I hadn't started at the Air Zoo. I had no physical hands-on experience with restoring anything with an engine up until that point. And I loved it so much and seeing the fruits of my labor right away is what got me to continue. Do you do maintenance on the entire plane or is there a certain part of the plane that you specifically do maintenance on? Here at USA Jet, I do work on all aspects of the airplane. I will take the engines off the airplanes, put them back on the airplanes, change tires, change oil, change windows. I'll troubleshoot electrical problems. Uh, if avionics needs assistance, anything that they need, I can do here. What does an average day in the life look like for you? Honestly, I never know what I'm gonna do walking into work each day, and that's part of what I love about it. I don't like the monotony of doing the same thing over and over again. There is actually a lot of paperwork that we need to do to make sure that everything is done properly. The pilots will fill out what they need to, they'll send it to our maintenance control department, bounces it back to us, and we'll find the correct troubleshooting paperwork, or if we know that it is the specific problem um, written up, We'll go into the aircraft maintenance manual. We'll look up the procedures on how to change or fix whatever needs to be done. So what is it like to be in a male-dominated workspace? I don't find that it's too much different, but being in a male-dominated field, I'm, I'm kind of used to it. Uh, they don't treat me any differently. If anything, I notice that they're more protective. Like if anything were to happen, they're right there by my side. If I need any support, they're there giving it to me. It's great. I would love to get a sense of what it is you do. So is there any chance we can go and take a look? Sure, let's go. All right, so say this airplane just came in and we're catching it. Then we're doing a pre-flight on this Falcon. We have this list of items created for us to help us go through and check that it's ready for the next flight and that it was good on this incoming flight as well. So after you wait for the engine to cool down for like 10 minutes, we can check the oil. There's a sight gauge on the other side, but on this side, we can check to make sure everything is safetyed and secured and nothing's leaking like crazy. So you can put a hand on things, make sure everything's tight if you need to, uh, if you find something like crazy, hand loose, uh, put a wrench on it. Um, make sure all these cannon plugs are still connected. So what are some of these wires connected to some of these bolts in here? It's a safety wire so that they don't rotate themselves loose and everything stays in position. 
Can we check the tire pressure next? Sure. So uh, according to our paperwork, when we come down here and check the tires for condition and inflation, you'll see a maintenance manual reference. So even though USA Jet has made this task card for me to reference, it will also reference the maintenance manual for things as specific as tire pressures. You just go in here and you check it. And we'll do that for all the tires on the plane. Madison, thank you so much for showing us what it is to be an aircraft mechanic. Are there any professional organizations that someone who's interested in that career can look to? Yeah, definitely. Women in Aviation is a great resource for any questions you might have or any help you might need following in your path. Aircraft mechanics is a growing field. If you are someone who has technical know-how and a passion for problem solving, maybe this could be the right career for you. This program is supported by Eastern Michigan University and Digital Divas, with additional support from the DTE Foundation, ITC Holdings, and viewers like you. Thank you.